Well, this man has certainly been in the headlines of late. Reaction to the loss of Mike Tyson to Buster Douglas, certainly one of the biggest shockers in uh, boxing history, the former trainer of Mike Tyson, Kevin Rooney. And uh, Kevin, uh, you had some words that uh, Mike Tyson was ready for the fall and uh, turned out not to be sour grapes, but uh, certainly prophetic uh, warning. What was your reaction uh, when you saw what happened in the ring? Let's forget about the controversy of the long count. Let's talk about the man that stepped in the ring uh, posing as the champion of the world. Well, I, I was a little surprised that, that they allowed him to get into the ring in that, in that frame of mind. And uh, it, it hurt. It really hurt to watch, to watch Mike, who I consider my fighter, mine and Custer's fighter, take a beating like that, getting hit with lead right hands, getting hit with jabs. It, that, I know that wasn't Mike, and I know that he, he probably should not have fought. They should have came up with an excuse that he was sick and pulled out. But the powers that be made him fight because they're more interested in money. Now, I hear, like, the great Mike Marley taking shots at me that I want money. It's ne it was, never was about money with me and Mike. Now, but the people, Don King and his people, made him get in the ring in that mental condition and fight for the money. Now, you know, who's calling who what? Ahead, Kevin, Sean. what specifically is it that you saw in Mike that you said, wait a second, this uh, may not be his night? Well, when, when he, when he stepped, first stepped into the ring, he wasn't caught up. And then after the first round, second round, third round, he just showed no desire to, to fight. To, what, do you, what do you mean he wasn't cut up when he first stepped well, in you know, the ring? He, when, when I had him, I always used to talk to him and I wanted him to you know, be chiseled. Back muscles showing, the, all the arm muscles showing, mm -hmm. sacrifice, you know. Sacrifice is what it comes down to, and he wasn't like that. Now he had reports he was taking off 20 pounds like two weeks before the fight. Now, the the people Don King knows that he's doing that. They should call the fight off. He, he, didn't, he wasn't prepared mentally to engage. He didn't want to put his you know his life on the line. And if he doesn't want to do that, he shouldn't be in there. Well, you said he didn't want to put his life on his line. His life has gone in so many directions. Do you think that Mike Tyson has lost interest in fighting? Well, it looks that way. It, it definitely looks that way, and. You would, I would have to say yes to that to that question. Now, again, I want him to come back to the gym. I just I feel bad. I feel bad that now Buster Douglas is getting very cocky the way he is, and I would like the opportunity to put me and him back together for the one fight just to prove that I can do the job better than Don King and his yes men. Is that more of an impossibility than Buster Douglas beating Mike Tyson? I would hope not. I mean, and Mike can keep Don King as a, as his promoter. I don't care. All I want is to be able to train him. What heavyweights would have beaten Mike Tyson that night? Could you name a few? I, w I would have to say most most of the contenders. Uh, Evander would have beat him. Uh, Carl Williams may may have even beat him. Uh, Mike didn't want to fight. And I, I don't really. I don't know the answer. Something went on in, over there in Japan. I know he doesn't like Japan. They went over there three weeks before the fight. They should went over there five weeks before the fight. He shouldn't have took five days off after getting knocked down by Buster, by uh, Greg Page. He should have fought ten rounds that day and ten rounds the next day. He wasn't, he wasn't training. I don't care what anybody says. Is there any notion in your mind that you may ever hear from Mike Tyson again, or do you think as long as he's with Don King, you're completely out of the picture? I, I, I don't know. I, I wish he would call. I wish he would just call me and say, hey, Kevin, I don't want you anymore. He never did that. So you never even heard from him. Since the last fight no, you worked, they haven't. He hasn't. He hasn't. He didn't learn the lessons from Customato. Now I've I've done bad things. Custom didn't like me to gamble, and I gamble. I admit my mistakes. But when it comes to boxing, I try to do it as close to what Cust wanted, and I felt that I was successful with Mike. I was able to complete the job that Customato started, and and he's not going to get no one else. Not Jay Bright, and definitely not Aaron Snow. They, they, Jay and Mike educated the enemy by talking about whatever they talked about. They've educated the enemy, and, and it's bad. Do you think there's enough of a shocker to wake uh, Mike Tyson up? Uh, do you think this is the, the warning for him, the wake-up call, uh, and uh, after this one, he'll get back in the shape, and again, he'll knock everybody out in the first round? Or do you think this could be the beginning of the end? I, I, re I really don't know. I'm not happy that he... he I'm not happy that Don King has, you know, made him say that... Uh, I go home every night, and that Bill Caton and Kevin Rooney, they only want me because of the money. Because that's all Don King wants. Don King wants control of the heavyweight division, and that's all he wants. I'm not happy that I think 
uh, the Duvis and Evander Holyfield and, and, and uh, the manager standards are going to take take the three million, whatever it is, to step aside and let Mike fight uh, Douglas. I'm not happy that Douglas may be looking to grab all the money from fighting Mike again. I understand their point, but I wish that the Duvis would stand on principle for once and not the money and say, you know what, we're going to fight because we got the shot to beat Douglas. And if, and if they were to beat Douglas, then they would be the bosses and let's have someone else be the boss instead of Don King. We just saw an example with uh, Simon Brown and Jorge Maisonette. Maisonette has never been the same fighter since his loss to, to Simon Brown. Could that be the same case with Buster Douglas and Mike Tyson? Well, it, it, could, it could be that way. I, I'm asking for the opportunity to try to correct that. I, th I, I believe that it can be corrected, and Mike, I, Mike had problems going into that fight. Whatever went on in Japan, I don't know because I wasn't there. But I think that I can help him. I wish he'd come back to the gym that Cush started. It's still the same. Everything's the same in the gym, and, and all my fighters will learn the same thing that Cush taught me that I try to continue to teach Mike, and I want the opportunity to do that again. Do you think Mike Tyson is making any of his decisions at this point? I think that Don King is very smart. And he lets Mike think he is, but he's really not. One other question. Uh, possible Holyfield Foreman fight. What do you, what do you see in that one? Uh, I, I, well, that's a tough fight. You know, people don't give Foreman credit. I give him a lot of credit. He stays very calm. He proved in a Cooney fight because Jerry looked very good in one round and, and so, rocked him, but Foreman stayed very calm. And when he had Jerry hurt, he took him out of there. Uh, George Foreman is someone you can't take lightly. If I was Evander's people, I would just I would I would avoid George Foreman only because he's so big and he's so powerful that he could take you out. Would you have added George Foreman to the list of heavyweights who would have beaten Tyson that night? Probably, oh, definitely yes, because he he punches hard. And he would have went after Mike. All right, Kevin Rooney, uh, very much uh, in the headlines and in the news <laughs> right now, and trying to get back to Mike Tyson. And uh, Kevin says, Mike, if you're watching uh, and you have his number, give him a call. We'll be.